Okay, Tam, welcome to your video tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at simplifying algebraic fractions. We're going to particularly look first at simplifying and then at multiplying and dividing those fractions. Okay, since pronumerals represent numbers, um, the rules we use for algebraic fractions are the same for the num simple numerical fractions. This includes processing, um, includes, includes processes, sorry, such as cancelling by common factors to simplify and multiplying um, and dividing. So an example of something that you could, ask be, could be asked to do is first to simplify. Um, now you can simplify by just simply cancelling out common factors. So if we've got an x on the top, we can cancel out an x on the bottom. Okay? Um, the highest common number that goes into 8 and 12, we ask ourselves again, is 4. 4 goes into 8 twice and into 12 three times. Okay? So this one simplified would be 2y on 3. So that's one way. Um, if I get this, guys, if I get um, um, something that's actually factorised on the top of my fraction and the bottom, I can still simplify, okay? So in the brackets, I have x plus 2 on the top and on the bottom. So I can cancel that out. Now I'm just left with the common factors of 3 and 6, okay? The highest number that goes into 3 and 6 is 3. It goes into itself once and into 6 twice. So you can see with an answer of one on two. So you can see by having things factorised, it's actually quite easy to um, simplify fractions. So sometimes because it's so easy, we're asked to first factorise, okay? Um, so if I factorise this top statement, okay, remember factorising means put into brackets. Before I can cancel, it says um, simplify these by factorising first, okay? So let's factorise. 9x and 12, okay, what's, I haven't got a pronumeral on my right-hand term, so I can't have a pronumeral in common. The highest number that goes into 9 and 12, okay, 3. What do I multiply 3 by to get 9x? Well, that's 3x. What do I multiply 3 by to get negative 12? Well, that's negative 4. Okay. So it said um, simplify by factorising first. So there's the top thing factorised, and I'll have a divided by 3. So the first thing I can obviously cancel out are my 3s, okay? And I'm simply left with um, 3x minus 4, okay? And because it's on the top, it's a whole number, so 3x minus 4 is that fraction simplified. This next example, okay, again, it's asking us to factorise them, okay? So the highest common number that goes into, let's look, let's factorise the top part of our fraction, okay? I've got 4x plus 8, okay, those two terms. I don't have a pronumeral on both sides, so there won't be a pronumeral on the outside of my brackets. But I do have um, a 4 and an 8, highest number that goes into them is 4. What do I multiply 4 by to get 4x? Well, x. What do I have to multiply 4 by to get positive 8? It's positive 2. Okay, now the bottom one. Okay, the bottom statement I don't have to factorise because there isn't actually a common factor. Oh, sorry. There isn't actually a common factor amongst the two of them. So it's just x plus 2. Now you may notice that there's an x plus 2 on the top and an x plus 2 on the bottom. Okay, so they cancel each other out, which means all I'm left with is 4 on the top. So you can see it takes a few moments, but it's actually easier to simplify algebraic fractions by first factorising. So that's simplifying, either by crossing out common factors or by um, factorising. Let's look at some things that we might be asked to do. Okay, so let's simplify these products. Remember, product means times, so these multiplied fractions. Okay, it's really simple. Um, again, before we multiply, we cancel out common factors, okay? Now, when we cancel out common factors, we cancel out across ways, okay? So, like we do with normal fractions, 12 gets uh, simplified with 9 and 5x gets simplified with 10, okay? So, common number amongst 12 and 9, highest common number, okay? Highest common number is 3, 3 goes into 9 3 times and into 12 four times, okay? 5x and 10x. Now, I've got my x's in common, so I'll cross that out, okay? And 
amongst five and ten, the highest common number is two, is five. Five goes into five once and into ten twice. Okay, now hopefully most of you guys remember with fractions, when I multiply, I multiply the numerators and the denominators. And now that they're simplified, it's so much easier. So four times two is eight, one times three is three. So my answer becomes eight over three, or if I simplify that as an improper fraction, it becomes two and two on three. Okay, how many times does three go into eight as a whole number? Twice to get me six, two left over goes there, denominator stays the same. Okay, again, I'm asked to simplify these products, and again, I cross-simplify. So this guy can simplify with him, and the red guy can simplify. The numerator of one can simplify with its equivalent denominator on the other one. Okay, so I can cross out common things. So here, I've got an x minus one, and on the top, I've got an x minus one, so they can simplify. Okay, uh, 10 and 15, my highest common number that's common amongst 10 and 15 is five. 5 goes into 10 twice, and into 15 three times. So 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times, well, 1 is just 2. Okay, 9 on 2, or 4 and a half is my answer for this one here. Okay, so that's multiplication. Again, I multiply numerators and denominators, but if I want to simplify, I always cross-simplify. Okay, division. Okay, most of you will probably remember with division, Okay, I actually flip it first. So 3x squared divided by 8. I flip this, okay, and change it into a times. That's my first step. Flip it and change it into a times, okay? And I cross-simplify 3x and 9x, okay? So I've got 1x down here. Okay, and I've got one, I've got two X's up here. So what actually happens is I don't get rid of both of those, I only get rid of one of them. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, the X's are cool, let's look at the numbers. I've got three and nine, highest number is three. Three goes into nine three times and into itself once. So I'm left with one X, okay, on the top and three on the other denominator. Let's look at eight and four. Highest common number is gonna be four. 4 goes into itself once and into 8 twice. Okay, so now let's have a look at um, the timesing. Okay, it's that times that and that times that because remember I flipped it so I'm doing the reciprocal. I do the opposite fraction on the second thing, I do the opposite operation. That's a good way to remember it. So I've got 1x times 1 is 1x, but I'll just write it as x. Okay, and I've got 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay, and that's it guys. That's the first part of division. It's pretty straightforward one here which, asks, which I have a factorising thing of. Again, I have to do the reciprocal, okay, or the opposite. So I'll flip it. Two brackets, x minus two, close brackets, three times, and flip this guy. So the six is now on the top, and x minus two is now on the bottom. Oh, I wrote that fraction a bit funny, sorry. I'll write that again so it looks a little bit better. Dun, 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 dun. My time symbol, okay, and I'll put 6 divided by x minus 2. Okay, cool. Right, um, let's cross-simplify these guys first. Okay, so I've got an x minus 2 there and an x minus 2 there, so they cancel out. Okay, I've got a 3 here and a 6 here. Okay, highest common number is 3. 3 goes into itself once and into 6 twice. Hopefully you guys are getting the, the kind of feel now. Again, Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Two times two is four on one. If you ever get anything that is over one, you must simply write it as the whole number, which is four, which is the answer for that one. And that's it, guys. That's simplifying algebraic fractions and then looking at simplifying when we multiply and divide.